Uh, first of all, data analytics, it's not a goal by itself, but in a company, it's a means to achieve improvement. So what it's going to do is going to help you to uncover or discover patterns in your data, trends, relations, but also variations in your inputs and outputs. I've seen uh, many successes uh, in lowering production costs, uh, raw material usage, energy, waste, or off-spec uh, material. Uh, just to give a couple of examples, maybe, uh, there was a very nice pro project done a few years ago where the um, productivity at maximum load, maximum capacity was, was increased. Uh, such a project can easily yield about half a million euro per year. Um, so that's in the production area. Think of, if you think about maintenance, there was a, a, um, a young analyst who um, carried out a project about uh, temperature patterns, scanning for temperature patterns to determine when maintenance was needed. And that also gave very good results. Uh, think about three, 400,000 euro per year, uh, just in reduced maintenance. Um, and again, lots of different projects, some big, some small, um, often related to increased yields of certain chemical processes, but we also had do projects on uh, trans transactional processes, like handling of non-conformities, uh, even compliance related matters like uh, understanding and controlling overtime. So it's very, very diverse. One of the things we often find is, I found, was a sensor that correlated to a lab measurement. This is called sub-sensor, infrared sun sensor, it's well known in the literature, and it's basically the value of not having to go to the lab, but just having an online estimation basically for free because the sensor was already correlated to that. So when I, when I found that, the, the stakeholders were super happy, super happy how, I did, how the, the miracle of machine learning and AI found that. And they asked me to present it. So I, instead of going into the details like that, I was using random forest and this is uh, my code, I just opened my laptop show them how to get the data, how to run the predictor screening, and that in a matter of minutes and clicks, I found this incredible finding. And at the end of the presentation, someone came to me and said, you know, you made it look too easy. You, you had the opportunity to here to really you know, show off because it was really a big deal for the plan. And I said, okay, but you know what? It's, it's, it is that easy today to get data and do a predictor screening or random forest, or whatever algorithm like that. But after a year, I found out that another engineer learned that this was super easy to do, and he found business value, which was 10 times bigger than the one I, I, was, I was showing there. So we should make this too easy, and we should make focus to the uh, domain experts. No. We at Dow, we make a, um... Uh, class of materials we call it chelating agents. These are organic molecules. They have an affinity for metal ions. They bind to metal ions. Metal ions come from the pulp and um, it prevents the metal ion to catalyze the decomposition of peroxide because um, otherwise you want your, your peroxide to bleach the pulp and not to decompose uh, catalyzed by the metal ion. So I used to go to the lab and do bleach, bleaching simulations. And I was like my very first project. I, I went to customers and I, I realized that they would not stop everything else that they, they were doing in the plant to test my, my, my chelating agent. They would say, the plant is running, add your, your, your chelating agent and tell me that it's working. And it was like a learning moment that, you know, there was so much noise in the data. There's absolutely so much time, the ability to distinguish signal from noise the ability to understand that there was a longitudinal correlation of the data because things were running in a continuous fashion and to be able to show the customer that indeed the product was effective. Um, it, 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 I had to go back and learn the statistics and go back to the customer again to be able to demonstrate the improvement. So I had no idea and it changed the way that I, my career um, proceeded because of the ability to, to apply statistics and. Of course, I'm here today. Jump is, has been an instrumental tool for me to, to, to do that, an enabling tool.